This is your CBS 46 News Update. Good Wednesday afternoon. I'm Karen Greer. Constitutional care is one step closer to becoming law in the state of Georgia. Last night, the Senate Judiciary Committee approving Senate Bill 319. Legislation that would get rid of permit requirements to carry a concealed weapon in the state of Georgia. The bill now heads to a committee for further discussion and could head to the full Senate for a full vote very soon. Meanwhile, Congress is close to naming a post office in Atlanta after the late Georgia Congressman John Lewis. The House of Representatives unanimously passing the bill. It now goes to the Senate. If the bill becomes law, it will rename the post office on Crown Road after the civil rights icon. Big news today, CNN President Jeff Zucker resigning effective immediately. Zucker releasing a memo saying he is leaving after having what he calls a consensual relationship with CNN's chief marketing officer. Zucker was questioned about the relationship as part of an investigation into former CNN anchor Chris Cuomo. CNN has not yet announced who will replace Zucker. In coronavirus headlines today, a vaccine could soon become available for children under the age of five. On Tuesday, Pfizer asked the Food and Drug Administration for an emergency authorization of a low dose to show that contains a tenth of the amount given to adults. If approved, the vaccines could be available within weeks. All right, let's check in with Atlanta's most accurate forecaster, meteorologist, Ella Dorsey. What did, uh, let's see, General Beauregard Lee say about today? He said early spring, Punk County Phil said six more weeks of winter, so they're in disagreement. I can tell you right now, it's not going to feel like spring anytime soon. It'll be cloudy, breezy, cool today, a few stray showers, but after sunset tonight, rain moves in. So scattered rain likely overnight, and in fact, we'll see rounds of that rain lasting tomorrow through Friday, anywhere from one to three inches of rain through the end of the week. It'll stay mild through Thursday and then we'll cool off as we dry out for the weekend. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.